Eyebrow checked. <laughs> Eyebrow checked. Eyebrow checked. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? We were in the lab today, me and my buddy Cameron there, and we were going to update you guys on the Pink Princess here a little bit. And not sure if we're going to cut it up today or wait until another another day, but I haven't looked at it recently, so you guys will be seeing it for the first time with me. So I'll get you flipped around, and we'll see what kind of growth we've got. Oh, and I forget, too, we have to move it, Cam, because look at the screen. Remember that black thing that moves across? Yeah. Isn't that weird? It is weird. Maybe if anybody's watching knows why it's doing that. So it's a grow light and you can't see it with the naked eye. But that black line, for some reason on film, keeps scooting across the screen. So, don't know. But anyway, we're going to move it down here. Move them down here. Where we can see them just a little bit better. I believe these lights are still plugged in. Yeah, so these lights don't do it, just the grow light. And on this guy, he's a little confused because that is a root, a root growing straight up. So not exactly sure why that happened. Cameron, did we ever remember if maybe we put some of the root hormone in this by accident or do you know? I don't know, I think we did. Because this one's got nice actual shoot growth. But it's not grown very fast. Because this is what, three, a month? Not about it, yeah. So anyway, got one doing a shoot and one that's confused and doing a root for some reason. So I don't think we're going to cut it up just yet because it's still a little bit small. But hopefully, uh, here in the next few days, we will get in there. And Cam, do you? Are we going to take that shoot and just cut him off, and then put several pieces in a an auger? <coughs> what do you think? Um, I think that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Isn't that what you said, Steve said? Yeah, I believe so. But we'll cut that little shoot off, and then just kind of very carefully slice it, and uh, very in a very sterile environment too, put it in its own auger plate. This guy, I don't know what to do with him honestly. So, have to check with our buddy Steve and see what we're gonna do there. So there is your Pink Princess update and we will film when we cut him up too so you guys can see that. Mm -hmm. So, also in the lab today, Cameron and I are going to get back on our compost bacteria research. And so, as you guys know, we compost um, on quite a big scale, and what we're trying to do now is figure out which bacteria and which fungi are responsible for what, and which guys, you know, are the super players, so to speak, which ones are breaking the stuff down really quickly, and uh, just kind of study them and learn a little bit more about them. So what we did, we went back to our compost windrows, we got some samples out, we're going to mix that with distilled water, shake it up really, really good, then take a um, sterile loop grab a little bit, plate it up, do some street plates, and then in a few days we'll have bacteria and fungi just hopefully cover the plate. Then we want to isolate those bacteria and fungi out so that we can learn more about each one of them. And so that's what we're about to do right now. And I need to put on some gloves and a mask. I can't still find powdered gloves on Amazon. It's really pissing me off. I think it's because of COVID, everything's short. Maybe. Hey, that could be my excuse as to why I'm short. COVID. It's COVID. The COVID did it. Yeah, actually, I did, did notice that you were taller before this pandemic. Yeah, I thought so. I'm shrinking. So these uh, bags here are what Cameron and I just went and got. So I'm going to open that up. And let's see here. We have them color coded, and this is the one I need here. So simply just going to, with my clean spoon, now my phone's going to ring, it never ever fails. You can just hit in. Alright, with my now sterile spoon, I'll just 
just kind of go down in here in the middle of the sample and get a little bit and then I'll kind of dig around and pull a sample from another part of the bag and I'm probably going to do one more just to be sure we give everybody a chance to get in the thing and then I'm going to drop it all over the hood so I have more cleanup to do after we're done so now we're going to take a little bit of distilled water and this doesn't have to be extremely sterile because what we're wanting is bacteria in different types and we're under the hood so all this air in here is sterile anyway and I'm just going to add a little water not much cap this back and then we're just going to shake very well and try to break loose the bacteria or any fungus spores that might be still stuck in there all right that should be good we'll take our plate come over here a little bit and this is our sterile loop right there let's flame it turn it orange Try to get the stem of it as well because that'll be going down into the water and basically we're just going to use him to scoop out some of the material and I'll turn my plate upside down and so he'll cool off once he gets down in that water and then we're just going to grab that right there. That's it. Put him back. And then so to do a streak plate, what we're gonna do is take and start right here. And I'm just gonna streak up and down. Up and down. Can you see those lines? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna turn it. And then we're gonna take and put our tip of the uh, loop in the last couple of lines. It's not sliding too great today. I think it's because it's cool. And so what we're doing is trying to have minimal bacteria on the loop by the time we get down here. It makes it easier to isolate the bacteria versus having them all growing in like one pile. So now I'll come and just streak through these lines. I don't know why it wants to hop when I'm going that way. It sure does. <laughs> and so there's our streak plate. And like I say, in a couple of days, that hopefully will have all kind of different colors and textured bacteria and fungi growing on it. And then from there, we'll be able to isolate them out, learn what they are, and learn what they do. All right, so we've got all of our streak plates done with our different samples. So now these guys are going to go in the incubator. And we'll let them cultivate at about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And then in a few days, we'll come and check them. And hopefully we'll have a bunch of cool, different color, different structured bacteria and fungus growing. And then we will further isolate those. So we'll keep you guys posted. You can follow us along and watch the whole process. And uh, again, we don't really uh, know what we're doing. We're just learning. But I am an official scientist because it says it right there on my jacket. So that's got to stand for you know, at least something. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.